three, two, one, go. All right, two days left to get that sub hour before we have to take a break. And I'd really rather not have to use this run or like have to run it tomorrow. All right. Wow. Early dash. Almost want to leverage the health, but it's like trying to leverage that health is a great way to get myself injured because I don't have proper dash. Perfect way to waste time, you know? So, just gonna keep moving. Yeah, if I find a Lamech early, I will do the Lamech reset strat. Which, in case you don't know what that is, it's where you kill Lamech and then you immediately um, retire your hero, basically using the money from Lamech to just power yourself up so you have a more empowered character because you still need to explore the castle anyways. Given that early damage, I would appreciate it. Mm. All right. Oof. Mm. Okay. How's it going, Lambo Droid? Glad to have you here. Glad to have you here. Oof. Is a treasure chest, but it's wrapped around, and this area is probably the least valuable treasure chest, so. This is nice. Extra 20% damage, I believe. One facing Lamech and other bosses, because I'm basically always going to keep them on fire. Look at that. Alright, so the question is, does this catalyst make keeping this character around worth? And that depends on this item. Leather weapon. Hmm. If it was Skull or Cape, I'd definitely reset after. I'm not so sure about leather weapon. See, plus 20% damage from Catalyst. Um, So the big question is just, is this catalyst worth keeping around, or is the leather weapon worth picking up? I'm going to go for risky strats. This could bite me in the rear, but I could get a character with good teleport, and then we just, or with good abilities. Alright, money strats. Because that was a mistake. No traits. And... Yep. Well, the hope is that that ruins my early game, but allows my late game to be stronger. It's really quick by my weapon.
precisely zero gold. That's at least good. We have access to Barbarian and Mage. And we ha we're about to get a lot of gold. Thanks to the pacifist. And this character's goal is to explore while getting my mo me money. So... We have a book that we need to grab. And we have Stigate Study to Find, as well as Access Mundi. There we are. But yeah, I think this is a mistake. I think we are losing time off of this. But now that we're here, we're here. Equipment. Oh. Found book. And no, I cannot complete book because the passive. I cannot complete these, so I find them for the next character to complete. Right. So these little orbs require echo boots to break, therefore finding it in the early areas basically is untouchable damage dealing orbs. Which is terrifying and unfortunate that that's how it ended up working. Alright. For another character. We got access to Sticky and Steady, that's good. I'm gonna go up, once I find Axe's Monday, I'm gonna go up to Sticky and Stay to finish off gain money. Alright. But yeah, Pacifist was a mistake, in case anyone's wondering. I know that. There wasn't good decisions for me. Piece. All right, treasure chest. Their job. <sighs> this is not look good, but I think this is the route, and it's going to look very bad. But I think this is the route. I'm not even sure if I use that. Only sure that I purchase it. Yep. That retire was a risky strat because I found nothing that gave gold except for the pacifist. 
Algezia is terrifying, yes, but it at least gets gold and at least can complete fiends the way that the pacifist could not. Found book already, that's good. And it has damage, so... Don't deny that it's terrifying. Only deny that I could go without it. If I'm going to take these bad strats, it's for gold gain. So... Once I basically killed that, char that first character, it was get better gold or bust. All right. Well. Not really leveraging this health much, but given that we have Algesia, I'm okay with that. But yeah. We made mistakes. We should not have grabbed that pacifist. Um, we will figure out whether it was a bad idea to pick up this Algesia, but like, if I'm not... Once I have made a decision that prevents me from succeeding, it's all about testing, is basically the theme. And we're going to test how a Barbarian fares. Barbarians used to be really good. Barbarians used to be really good. We're going to see if that still holds some truth. I just realized how bad this spell is. Oh, we have good damage. I definitely took care of that issue. behind schedule, but we have more money than the schedule expects, so. Ooh. Easy intro. Call our cape. Alright. We got our equipment taken care of. So now we just need to take care of our money and it's ilk. Yes. Much rather have White Star. Very safe and sorry. I see that guy jump into me is exactly the sort of thing that's gonna get me killed. Thank you, meat. Only plus two intelligence. Good to know. Good to know. <clears throat> Alright. Well, we're near a thousand again with this character. And we've already unlocked the architect, so... I have a feeling we're actually going to do really well with gold. And it's just a question of, can I leverage that to make up for the time loss of getting into the situation I'm in? So by the way, I took that Blessing of Wisdom thinking it is better than Shockwave. I just now realize I also have War Drum. So it's like, in multiple ways, the best decision. Oof. 
And then with the Barbarian's health total, I'm not too worried about things. So I'm okay. Now we're done with equipment. I'm like, so I'm already done with equipment. Because I could use a little more. Alright, now we're done with equipment. We now have Scholar Cape, Warden Weapon. So now it's all about money. That was... That's why you avoid Algesia. That's why it's a scary trait. In case anyone's wondering. Well, we made it to the end. Definitely took a bit more damage at the end there than I want to. But... We'll see how this fares. We have a lot of health still. Because we're a barbarian. And barbarians are good when it comes to health. Oop. No stupid risks, because I could easily get double stackered stacked with these two. Forgot that I can now actually freeze them up. Well, we took one hit, which is, I think, acceptable. Especially since we're getting all the gold in the process. Alright. So now the question is, can this Algesiac actually make it to Coleus Shell without double dipping in spikes again. That's a big question. It's a big ask. I also don't have my shout until I take damage. Which means that shout might be a means of taking only one point of damage. Which adds to the fear factor. Yep, shields are terrifying. I should have saved that for the next character. I definitely should have saved that for the next character. Because this character cannot last too long, too much longer. They just don't have the means. A single hit would kill that thing. At this point, I'm taking this because it helps war drums. So, I thought I had shield bash, and that's why I spun went into the enemy like that. All right. Well, we have enough money. Alright. We need two upgrades here. And now we permalock. We have Compulsive Gambling, and I did not see what the last one was. But yeah, Algesia, Serena House Bargain, might as well have been Austin Algesis.
And yeah, taking the serrated handles was definitely a mistake because then this character could have taken serrated handles and saved the day. That was a mistake on my part. Oop. Come on. Oh, what am I doing? Alright, well, this is just to treasure, apparently. Which means it would have been better for the previous character, and I really need to stop getting equipment. Found him off. Getting all the mistakes out early today? Yep. Basically. A lot of them are, dec are decision making mistakes, not like gameplay mistakes. Wow. That really is the route. That's concerning. And yes, the loading screens between teleporting to a new area, I think, are deep enough that I think that was the correct route. That was the fastest route to just do it like so. Alright, yeah. If it could kill these guys with two hits, it can kill the... Alright, let's see if I can go down through this route. Yep. Even connects here. Allows me to take Catalyst if I wanted to, but I don't have anything to catalyze. Second Lily. And Tharshor is right here, calling it. I called it. It's not luck if you called it. Oh. Alright. So this should be pretty quick kills. That was not purposeful, but I really appreciate how that panned out. Cape, Warden Weapon, Leather Helmet. We have the Arsenal. There's a Lily to our left. We can use it to pop up a Nama. Immediately kill Nama because we have the Arsenal. Yeah, we're not really getting stronger than this, so... I mean, we are. It's just... This is such a strong character, we don't really need to get stronger for boss fights. There we are. And given that we gain money by doing this. Oh, I have compulsive gambling, I just realized. That was one of my traits, so... Roll low there. Could have rolled lower there, but we just need to roll at around 100% here, and we're good. is 145. 
over here. Foolishness. really appreciate this is the last of my damage I take. Whew. Alright. Well, we have a gambler. Let's see how it fares. Plus 345% gold. There we are. Alright, we're done with gain gold. Which is great. Alright. Well, we solved our gold issues, but we still have to do the exploration issues. Which is the issue now. But yeah, we're done with gold. And that's pretty awesome. Yeah, 350% is pretty good on a boss chest. Tis. I don't know why I went for that. I literally said that... We didn't need any more. Alright. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be a ranger, and then I'm going to upgrade all the way to boxer, so it won't matter. Done with equipment. Let that money go there. Maybe leverage it later. Alright. Let's try the Stiggy and Study again. So yeah, we're behind on time, and we have these issues to deal with, but... Alright, got the meat, at least. Funny how that chest reappears, basically. Found Murmur. That's right, we're gonna find Enoch and then we're going. Ah. I didn't know if that would clear it out, so I just tried it. Nothing here. Well, that was a mistake then. And then some. Yep, as I said, gain all the mistakes out early. Because there's no other way to describe that decision. Wow. We have a tall study. So I even do Enoch. Alright. Gosh.
No, nope. we're using this fist cuffs as the value it is. Awesome. Increase health. The heirloom shouldn't be too far away. Surely, we explored enough of the castle. There we are. All right. 299 health. So, hmm. we have what we need. We are lacking time, basically. Just an early boxer, hopefully solving the issues. was a very large study, and we still need to find gone heads, but I have an idea where they'll be. Because there was a left path right at the very beginning that I ignored. In favor of going up and left. But yeah, I think I've explored the like the majority of this Stygian study. On top of that, it is pretty noticeably large. Oof. Right here. I'm gonna go up and just as far to the left as I can, basically. Bam. Oh, hey. Yeah, I think that's why I don't go inside them, because when they decide to do attack, I suddenly stop being safe to be inside them. Like so. Alright, pop open, return. So, I found everything I need in the study, and this character has full health and the ability to elusive through things. I'm actually going to leverage that for this, because I need to do this anyways. Let's get this place cleared out. Not used to being boxed this early. No, I am not. Alright, hold up. Let me 
set that. Let's do that. Definitely took a ton of bad damage, but Let's see how we. What am I doing? I have all the equipment I want. What? The entire top section here was a dead end. <sighs> Happens, but every time is infuriating. Look at that. Alright. Well, we found the final room at the very least. Yep. It happens, but it's always the worst thing to happen. It's uncommon enough that this is considered a very unlucky route, but it's common enough that I'm not, like, freaking out and being, oh my gosh, how could this ever happen to me, sort of thing. Doing this mostly to just prevent those fireballs from stacking up. Alright. Okay. Grab book. Do I? So the big question is, do I even bother with Murmur? Because... I have, um... I mean, I'd rather go to... Yeah. Definitely doesn't feel comfortable using a boxer instead of my usual classes. <laughs> well, I don't have my punch, so. Uh. Definitely the slow way for those rooms. Stop stopping for chests. I have everything. Alright. Oh. Use the iframes. No, I think I'm going to Irad next. Um, the ability to hover in the air is quite potent. 
um, specifically against Irad in a way that's not against True Enoch. So yeah, I'm going to do Irad next. And there's no difference in the amount of hits I could take because always he always deals precisely 100 points of damage. So. 220, 220, 299 is the same because it's one, it's two points of health from being enough to survive an additional hit. Look at this. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? I am now going to unlock the route to Pyshen Dry Lake. No point in silver chests anymore. I'm saving this so I can actually pick up the... So with that increased health, I can now face Enoch with his character without having to worry about making a mistake and getting butchered. So I have the Sun Lantern. This might be a bad decision just because of how true Enoch plays. I can dash straight through him at all times except when he's chasing. Okay, so this phase is fine then. Look at that.
Alright. Boxer has what they need against Enoch. That's good. Sorry, did I knock him back with that? I don't think it's possible to knock the bosses back, but it kind of looked like I did. Oh, missed the time that. Against one attack, I am weaker. Against this attack, I am stronger. Oop. I say as I take the damage and prove that I'm a little off on my assessment. Yet. Alright. Not sure how much this character is going to last in that lower area, but we're going to give it a shot. Oof. Kills. All right. Straight down, I think, is the route we take first. We need for money, so looks like it's left. It's our route just by the direction it gave us. Alright, we're going to head to that far left theme because it's the closest. No, please, prove me wrong. Block my path. Alright. Right. So we have to hope that that theme all the way to the left is storage, because we can do this run without running into storage. But if it's one of the bosses, this becomes troublesome. that the key is this theme directly below it. Doesn't look like it, though. Alright, second door. Alright, use boxer. Alright, got the teleport. not get hit. Alright.
hold up. Just in case I die. Get the teleport. Alright, it was storage, which is a very big positive for us. Bit dangerous. But every path is dangerous right now. Oh, misplaced and didn't die for it. All right. It's actually faster if I just stay here, go left down, try to beat the boss with this character. Hi, how's it going? Um, it's very risky, but we have an amazing we have an amazing run if we can manage to not mess it up. So, going good for now. Thank you very much for asking, Genova. Say, um, all right, we have another box, sir. Right. We have a lot of gold, though. Let's lock a boxer in case we need it. Nope. Alright. But yeah, we have... Yeah, no, 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 it's... It wasn't the distraction. No, trust me, it wasn't the distraction. Besides, I always like talking to chat anyways, so. Uh, it was just the, um, honestly, that is one of the bosses that are challenging for me anyways. So. Yeah, no. How's it going, Genovas? I hope things are going well for you. That's a nice interaction to know about. Yeah, if I could keep that up, that is the way to do it. It's just, can you keep that up? 
And the answer is usually not. Right. We have a guaranteed boxer. It's better to have the health going in. So we have enough health. Uh. Hypercoag. Alright, this character can win it. And we're... Oh my gosh. Despite those weird decisions at the beginning... It looks like we might just be getting that sub hour I've been looking for. We got a lot of money. And all that horrible time we wasted at the beginning is now being made up at the end. This won't be world record, but it's going to be personal best, I think. And that's awesome. About to finish project in new category for me. Um, in BI, learning DAX language. Nice. Glad to hear it. Yeah, I, I used to do programming. I definitely... If you wanted to get me back into programming so I, you have someone to talk to with it, I'm 100% for. Just... Oh, I was supposed to save that so I can do this. World record's around 52 minutes. My goal is an app sub hour. summons for phase two. Yeah, 52.06 in game time, so real time I have no idea, but I think it's under this. But my gosh. We just got a personal best. Real time, this is my personal best. This is better than my in game time personal best. I've been trying so hard to get a sub one hour, and the one where I start by making a stupid mistake, I do it with six minutes to spare. Well, that's very sick. Oof. GG. Thank you very much. Please enter a name. Oh my gosh. Arthritis, you too. 5606 real time. Yep. Or in game time. Or, yeah, 56. Wait. 5605 real time. I don't know where you're getting the 5605. I gave you 5841 and a 5406. Oh, the the world record is 56.05 real time. Got it. Alright. Well, I was saying that we might have to grind tomorrow to try to get that sub hour, but we just did it now. 54.06, everyone. 54.06. Ah. Uh, glad I got it done before the weekend. Ah. Uh, thank you, Lady Kimberly. Thank you.